we'll you, you, I'll come to you uh, yes, uh, yes. Christmas. Let's hear Mwenda Kilemi. In addition, um, I don't agree with Christmas the idea that we shouldn't care that our life is in danger. Any Kenyan whose life is in danger, we should care about. Irrelevant. Yeah, why highlight what we the rest of us how like Irrelevant, that, irrelevant of how we feel about the person mm -hmm. or how that person might be viewed in the wider society. Now, as Claire said, she's a new seller because she, everything, corruption seems to be revolving around after the last one month. So naturally, anything that is associated with her would be news. Furthermore, there have been accusations that uh, other, this story of, of uh, the corruption in West is much bigger than we think it is including uh, opposition parties, people, I mean, people we didn't know about. I am very interested in her safety, so I can know exactly what really happened Get there. to the bottom of it. Yes. That. So it's, it's in our interest for her to be safe. Don't, don't forget, she didn't, she didn't go out and say, my life is in danger. She asked, and it was reported in the public, that she asked for her, that her life is in danger. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, the, the argument that, um, that this is not a topic we need to be covering is, I think it's the only topic we need to be covering. Yeah. This is affecting every part of our society. I mean, corruption has been a topic we talk about for the last three months. It's not going away. But, but are we, are we mm -hmm. really concentrating on corruption as a vice, or is it corruption stroke, Waigoro? I mean, look at uh, the no, National but, but, Youth but Fund right now. But, but, but because the, the issue is the amount of money that has been lost. Mm -hmm. How, however, the, the headlines here right now is MPs query Waigoro link it, it, in the Youth but, Fund. Yes. Has to, so has, it's not, no longer now about the Youth Fund. She was the but it's youth fund. I, I, as Clay said, mm -hmm. You know, she was, she was probably the most powerful woman in this country. Uh, her ministry... It looks like she still might be... Uh, her, ministry, her ministry held uh, money bigger than some countries' uh, budgets in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> she was extremely powerful. So uh, the fact that uh, there's a link, there has to, people want to find out why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Honorable. Yes. Do you agree that uh, maybe Waigoro is still in the headlines as opposed to the actual story behind it? Yeah. Look at the headlines today. We are looking at the link between Waigoro and the new youth fund, whereas there is money lost. So the issue is no longer the money, but, but, but the link between but, Waigoro but, but and the youth fund. Just a minute also. Yes. Uh, I mean, like the guy who's been suspended from, uh, from um, the youth fund mm -hmm. over this. Uh, over this. Uh, if you remember when uh, the other guy, when Gor Semalango was actually uh, removed and it was replaced by this guy, mm -hmm. he went to town. Uh, I think um, more or less, I, th I don't know whether he tried to sue Waiguru, but he went to town actually blaming all his woes on oh, being mo moved out, I mean, pushed out of the, of the, of the office by, Wai I mean, on Waiguru. Mm -hmm. So all these things, even the youth fund fell under, it fell under Waiguru. And actually, mm -hmm. the thing is, one thing you cannot um, forget is that she was very steadfast in pushing things for like the youth fund, mm -hmm. the women's fund, mm -hmm. or the NYS. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was more or less like the face of mm -hmm. all these things. So anytime something happens to these things, there is no way you can fail to link that to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, but so, one thing also we should remember is that uh, this, uh, the 400 million is an accusation that money may have been lost. So let's also be careful with that. It's alleged. It's alleged. Yeah, 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 all these are allegations. It may, it may be I more mean, money that's lost. It may be yes. less. No, I mean, all okay. these are allegations. Yeah. Michael, I think what we're saying here, I hmm. think it is important for us to be very clear. We're not saying that the Waiguru issue is not worth covering as of now. Mm -hmm. I think he brought out a very interesting twist. The good lady says that my life is in danger. Whereas when you look at it, She's being uh, provided security. Two GSU officers for one individual. That's high. The sanctity of human life. Michael uh, Mwenda. This is what we are trying to say. The sanctity of human life is paramount, regardless of the position you occupy in society. That's why I'm saying it is good for us to start looking at certain issues with the tooth comb. When somebody claims that my life is in danger, we don't necessarily put that person on the front page of newspapers simply because she occupies a certain position in society. No. What we are saying is there are other important issues that are worth being on the headlines. For instance, right now, the ongoing voter registration exercise is a big issue, looking at what was happening in Kariobangi. The country is actually preparing for a watershed event. What are we saying? Are we prepared? What is the state of our national cohesion? And this is why I'm saying it is very important for us to start highlighting the lives of police officers and what this actually means. Because police officers in this country mm -hmm. hold a lot of sway in terms of ensuring peace and security and by extension cohesion. But what are we seeing? A lot of them are languishing in poverty. A lot of them are living in shanties. We are having 10,000 police officers being recruited and being unleashed.
Okay. Yeah, but, but, but you get to know about mm -hmm. actually the, the living conditions of, of the cops through the media. So it's not yeah. that it's never been highlighted. I mean, I'm not saying. The, the issue yes. here being, are we, are, we, are we concentrating mm -hmm. more on not that they're non-essentials, mm -hmm. uh, but other things that could be at the back page, but they're still dominating the front page, whereas there are other important issues that possibly should be dominating the front page. I mean, look at the IEBC voter registration. It's been very low-key. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been uh, word that uh, it's far less uh, compared to what the IEBC expected to have registered by now. Um, Kilemi, are we putting on the headlines what really deserves to be more in the center as opposed to the front pages? Um, uh, Clay would be better to answer this, but <laughs> my, my, my view is that Waiguru is important to all of us, and anything that happens to Waiguru right now affects all of us because of the implications of the accusations that are out there about her. So it would be unwise for the media not to cover that uh, because of the implication that has on no, all of us. No, 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 we are in But, but, no, but that should she be dominating the headlines? No, no let, me, let me talk about the issue of the ABC. <laughs> it, was, it was covered in the, it was a top news yesterday when uh, the issues were happening in uh, Kariobangi. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's not being covered, it is. And uh, it's, this has been a topic that's been discussed even on this same uh, show uh, just two weeks ago. So we are talking about these issues. This just came out yesterday, so it had to be covered. The issue of the IABC is important also because uh, there's not been a lot of goodwill in terms of what they're doing. So even before things began, people started talking about how uh, this may not be right, uh, one side is being favored or the other. Mm -hmm. And I wish I would be covered more because the, it seems like the water has already been bloodied with this, with this story. With this story. Yes. Oh, no, no, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Certainly. You realize that the coverage on IBC only came out because of the violence. No. No. Over the, yeah. no. Over the weekend, yeah. over the weekend actually, yeah. uh, we did, we did as, I mean, uh, extensive coverage of IBC, uh, IBC related issues. Okay. Uh, the chicken gate and yes. all these things. Yes. And how actually it's going to affect mm. yes. um, uh, the, uh, the, bit about, the, pe the bit about people not having faith in, uh, yes. in, in the, the IBC, yes. in the body. Yeah. Yeah. And before that, actually, we've done this coverage where mm -hmm. we highlighted, like, uh, the apathy towards voter registration, yes. Yes. you know, the yes. number of people, yes. like, yeah. uh, targeting this much, mm -hmm. and this is the number who, yes. have, uh, who have registered. Yes. Yes. So, but so there's mm -hmm. been that coverage. Yes. Probably uh, what people need to talk about is, like, mm -hmm educate people more about mm. the cover about mm. uh, regis registration certainly yeah. certainly because my concern was the uh, civic awareness of the people about but, registration. but that's not that's not that's a, but uh, then the media, when, when the, the, the the media is also uh, there is that part you can do it as a csr corporate social responsibility just giving airtime educating people so that a kenyan in mandera or a kenyan in garissa and bondo will know as a citizen i'm entitled to register anywhere but I think I, 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 I tend to differ because, yeah, because th that mm -hmm. has been done. Yeah. However, what happens, I guess, with life and with news is yes. that uh, if we wrote there that the IBC is registering people, you are allowed, allowed to register, mm -hmm. it will definitely not make as much news as when there's violence. Yesterday. Or when there's uh, <laughs> oh, yes. you know, yeah. something that comes yesterday. up. Yesterday. So, so it looks like the, the violence in Kariobangi mm -hmm. takes yeah. preeminence, yet there has been coverage that has been going on. A case in point is the Sunday Standard. Yeah. There was the chicken gate and the effects. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that uh, Kenyans may generally not have faith in the IEBC right now. Mm -hmm. But now it comes out more to light when there's violence. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, Yesterday, the CEO of uh, IBC was interviewed, and he did answer your question about mm -hmm. the fact that you can vote anywhere, and all these questions yeah. were answered. Yeah. So there has been an attempt by the media to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I think the whole coverage of the issue of apathy towards the election has been covered well. I mean, one of the major papers talk about how graft is still in the judiciary. Mm. So all elements that will be important for the next election are being covered, and the apathy towards it are being covered as well. So I would not agree with that. I would think that this is an issue that is dominating our, 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 our media because it's politics. Uh, the, 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 the judiciary and the IBC all are linked to the politics of the country. So they are all being covered. I okay. All being Christmas, covered. do you feel that the IABC and voter registration has been covered adequately and what more can be done? I think right now I would agree that the media has done um, extremely well in terms of uh, actually highlighting the process itself. You remember two weeks ago when we talked about it. Uh, but right now, uh, my fear is we seem to be playing into the politics of the day. For instance, the Karobangi uh, issue. That is a story that we must be able to find other aspects of how to keep the story alive. This is what we are seeing. We are not disagreeing that the media hasn't done enough, uh, but uh, uh, we need to find ways of sustaining the coverage. Agreed. Because uh, when you look at um, what happened in 2007, 
somebody would want to believe that IEBC is well prepared. They have fixed uh, their issues uh, regarding the technological uh, failures that we witnessed in, two, uh, in 2007 um, and uh, going forward in 2013. And we would like to know how prepared they are, they are in terms of actually ensuring that uh, the country is well set uh, to handle uh, the 2017 election. But having said that, I think uh, uh, my fear is uh, the media uh, when you look at it in 2007, somehow we were to blame uh, for the violence that befell the country because we played into the politics of the day. In 2013, we had an opportunity of fixing the mess, but right now we seem to be sliding towards that direction again. What, what, what you, you have know, done? You know, it's, 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 always, it's always easy to, to blame the media and all yeah. that. And, mm -hmm. and I think uh, going back to like 2007, where, okay. yes, um, we, people have always said, like, okay, the media was complicit in the whole violence thing. Then 2013, again, the media did not do much. And there's this question, okay, at some point, yes, I also feel that probably we never did much in 2013 or we did not do it the way people expected. But there's a question that actually I'm always confronted with. What was the media supposed to do in 2013 that it did not do? In addition to... I think, Clay, we are, we are in agreement on so many issues. What I'm saying is, in, 20, in 2007, you are in the newsroom. You know what was happening in the newsroom. And you know that we took sides. Various media houses took sides. And we cannot deny that. In 2013, we are approaching, we were actually approaching certain issues with a lot of caution. Uh, so, in 2017, mm -hmm. we seem now to be sliding back to the positions, we seem to be playing into the hands of the political class. What, what, I, I, I'll I, I, tell I, I, you, for instance, what is happening in Kericho. You remember the controversial headlines about one of the dailies that was actually uh, on the front what page was of so one controversial of the dailies. What was so controversial about the headline? I mean, the, the one Come about on. circumcision. Come on, it doesn't matter. It what doesn't matter whether, no. whether, whether, whether For me, I felt not. that Kenyans were, I mean, circum you want to tell me that circumcision has never been a part of Kenyan's political discourse? It, Clay, has. it, it has, has been. been. It has. Yes, so for me, I mean, I don't... I did not see anything taught odd about that thing because mm -hmm. this, what these people were playing into, what the media, mm -hmm. that media house was playing into, because it has been a part of your politi Kenya's political discourse. Oh, my yes. goodness. Clay, I think yes. you know, you I, I will know defend, I, I don't want to but society. I will defend that headline. Whose ideas must because, be left because to be propagated in this country. Let's, 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 let's just be clear. Let's just be clear, gentlemen. Let's just be clear. Chris Chris you're referring to the headlines where there was circumcision mentioned in regards to one leader. What is your issue with that particular headline? I think listening to Clay, it actually demoralizes me. Yes. What is my, question is, with, the my question is, what is the issue, what, what what is the issue with the headline? <laughs> okay. And it is very unfortunate that that is actually coming from Clay, yes. who is an editor. <laughs> yes. Let me ask you, Michael, what was so newsworthy about that headline? Was it a selling point? If it was, I agree. They wanted to sell the paper. What was so big about... Okay, let's assume the DP made that remark. Mm -hmm. Was it newsworthy? I mean, I, I, just a minute. I'll, I'll answer My this. Problem I'll answer is this another question. No, no, no. Clay, <laughs> my has, problem is... Has circumcision no, 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 been clay. a part of Kenya's let, let, Let's do this systematically. You know, you know, let's do this systematically. Yes. I want to understand, Christmas, yeah. from you yeah. what the issue was. Is it because it was not newsworthy? Is it because it was not true? Is it because it was below the belt? What exactly was the issue? The issue I'm trying to bring out, Michael, is very simple we do not play into the hands of the political class to inflame passions. The media has got a responsibility. Granted, whether the DP said or made those remarks or not, <laughs> that is not the issue. The story is, or the issue is, was it a story worth carrying? And for that matter, was it or did it actually warrant to be on the false page of a local day. So according to you, it was not newsworthy and it not, did not deserve to be on the front page. Whatever the case, okay. the media must be responsible. This is what we are saying. <laughs> we need, we as journalists must be able to practice what you call responsible journalism. That's where we are feeling. Okay. That was All right. 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 So, Let me uh, hear honorable. Certainly, I think it's very important we make a distinction. There are several dailies. There are, there are, there are, there are those who, uh, whose specialities is business news, <laughs> commercial news. But then there are also tabloids. You know. <laughs> and for, for such a daily, I think if it's a tabloid, whatever it did, it's certainly justified. Because it's to make okay. a sale.